Hey guys, I'm Adam and Six, and welcome back to another Arsenal episode. Uh, sorry, these haven't been more regular. I've, I've had conflicts with my schedule and stuff, so um, we're going to get through it. You know, it's not going to be too bad, but we're going to go straight into it with bad bad news, I guess. Uh, we've played like four games since the last video, two of them win the Europa League, two of them win the Premier League. We'll get the bad news out of the way first because that's how I like to do it. Um, obviously, we lost to Sporting over two legs um, and got knocked out of the Europa League. Not ideal, really. We kind of wanted to go far in that tournament and, you know, maybe even win it and uh, secure a Champions League that way. Um, and, you know, losing at home the way we did on penalties is kind of like, um, like really, but, you know, it is what it is, you know. You feel disappointed and stuff. And it's slightly embarrassing, I guess. Um, but, you know, this Arsenal, has, this Arsenal team has more things to... Um, think about and focus on right now and um, you know if we were at third fourth fifth and going into what's like looking like a pretty hectic um, top four fight the next the last 10 games of the season um, you know then then I would have been more bummed about it because obviously it's a good way to get into the Champions League Champions League for me was my main priority this season get back into the elite European competition finally after too long out um and this squad's good enough for the Champions League, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, there are lessons to be learned. One of them is that our rotated 11 is still not as good as our first 11. Um, you know, Matt Turner, in the first, I think he played the first sporting leg and had a bit of a dodgy game. Um, obviously, Ramsdale's played the second leg. I think Turner's injured. Um, and most of our rotating 11 weren't up to par. Um, and that's something to work on. Obviously, if we have Champions League football, we can get a slightly better calibre of players in. Um, so, yeah, so we're out there in the league, but it is what it is. We're focusing on the Premier League now, um, and that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of this series because, you know, I haven't really spoken much about the Europa League at all this season, this, se this series because, obviously, I don't really do videos in, on the Europa League until maybe the semis and the final, but that's not going to happen now, and to be honest, I'm not too fussed about it. You know, we've got bigger fish to fly this season and to be honest with you you know our squad's not deep enough to focus on the premier league and the europa league and you know if you if you ask me what trophies you want to win i would say the premier league um so that's what we're going to be trying to do anyway so the first premier league game we played was fulham I absolutely demolished them um actually do watch this get these stats up right now so obviously Gabriel scores, Martinelli scores, Odegaard scores, um, it all in the first half, and then boof, we shut them, shut them out. Um, you know, I mean, what can I say? It was the first one of those games. We've had a, quite a few of them, where we've just won the game in the first half, and then the second half we've just been on cruise control, shut them out, and uh, made sure we kept a clean sheet. Um, I think uh, Ramsdale was, I can't remember now, twelfth or thirteenth. Um, yeah, I mean. Brilliant, to be honest with you. I um, absolutely dominated that game. Uh, 56 to 44% possession. Um, we had like a 100 more passes in them. So we, out we outplayed them and it was pretty comfortable. And people were saying that it was probably one of Fulham's worst games of the season. They've done really well this season. To, you know, I think they're in the top 10 still. So a um, bit unlucky for them as well to get knocked out of the FA Cup. Um, obviously a, a mistake. And then, you know, Three of the two of their players and their manager get sent off, kind of gifted it on the plate for Man United. To be honest with you, and that's just how Man United season's gone so far. It's just gift after gift for them, but it is what it is. Um, but for them, yeah, I mean, they've had a good season. They've done really well, but mate, we were levels above them this game. Three 0 It could have been five or six. Um, but we, you know, we just wanted a clean sheet in that game. We wanted a comfortable win and we wanted the three points and that was it. We weren't really fussed about going for the um the goal difference. And obviously the second game was against Palace and Palace again, obviously a lot to talk about Palace because obviously they sacked their coach, Patrick Vieira, former Arsenal the captain and legend, um, like a couple of days before the game, which is Really strange timing. Um, obviously, they haven't been doing well this season, but still, like, really, like, you're going to play the league leaders and you're going to start your manager right then. It's the second time this season now where we've played a team that's just got rid of their manager. Uh, the first time was Everton and Dice actually beat us because obviously, new manager bounced and all that. 
But yes. Um, so everyone's like, oh, we don't know what's going to happen with this game, blah, blah, blah. Um, and yeah, I mean, so for them, from away, this is a good result. And, and I think Palace at home, we've not, apparently we've got a terrible record against Palace in the league. And, um, you know, there is an element of doubt in there. Like, oh, okay. Uh, but we ended up smashing them uh, 4-1 in the end. It should have been a clean sheet. The goal we gave up was really stupid. But Gabriel Martinelli again. One of our top scorers now. Bihaya Saka with his two goals that gave him the 10 goals, 10 assists record. I think he's in 12 goals, 10 assists now. Absolutely amazing. One of the best players in the world, in my opinion. Probably the best winger. It's arguable, but it is what it is. And Bradley Shaka got the fourth goal. Um, yeah, and Saka's goal came after their goal as well. So, good goal with the difference. I think we've got two goal difference less than City now. We're eight points clear. Obviously, they have a game in hand because... Um, I think because they had an FA Cup, um, I think, or one of, I think it was because they had an FA Cup game, um, so they're not playing now until next weekend, well, I say that to the 1st of April, I think, uh, that's when our next game is anyway, uh, we play Leeds next, um, so at the moment, 8 points came, they've got a game in hand, fair enough, in fact, <laughs> their next game is against Liverpool, um, and they have to win that, um, so I think there's a lot of pressure now on City, um, you know, eight points. Um, if they don't win against Liverpool, it could be nine or even 12 points. Um, so we have to kind of keep the pressure up. So, you know, we've got Leeds next. I mean, Leeds at home, no disrespect to Leeds at home, but that should be a winnable game. It should be a winnable game. Um, there's the exact kind of game that you want to, you need to win if you want to be champions. Um, and then we've got um, Liverpool way which is the first of like three away games or three games um, that are going to be tough. So we've got 10 games left in the season. I'm rambling a bit, but um, 10 games left in the season um, game. The first game is against Leeds. Should win. If we don't, but we should win that game. Um, and obviously Liverpool away. That's always a tough game, especially at, they, do, they do quite well at Anfield. Um, and, you know, they're going to be desperate to get, you know, points of us. Um, it's going to be a tough game. If we can get anything out of that game, it would be brilliant. If they if Liverpool beat City, I won't mind too much if they beat us. Um, you know, a couple of, couple of, like a week later. But it is what it is. The next game is West Ham away. Again, they're not doing that great in the season so far. It's a winnable game, in my opinion. And then, obviously, we've got Southampton. Um at home on the 22nd of April, so and that's as far as I'm going to look ahead right now, because after that it gets really hectic, um, but yeah, I mean, doing really well at the moment, obviously two decent wins in the league, um, seven goals scored, one goal conceded, six points, brilliant, like awesome, and hopefully it continues with the Leeds game, and then, you know, when we get to Liverpool game, we've got nine games left, and that's when it's uh, going to start getting pretty, um, Intent is the word I think I'm going to use. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. Obviously, eight points clear. Um, they have a game in hand, but you know, so what? Um, it's all about points on the board, not how many games in hand you have, because you can't guarantee that you're going to win. And City have had a bit of a history this season of not winning games that they should be. So um, I noticed that Harlan's blagged himself out of international duty, so he's obviously going to be free and fit, ready for Liverpool. Um, that's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be a, an interesting game. I think both teams are going to score. Um, if Liverpool played the way they did against United, I think they could win. But Liverpool and New City have both been up and down this season, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in that game. But we have to win against Leeds. And for me, if we win against Leeds, and whatever else happens that weekend is whatever else happens. Um, I think yeah, at the moment we've got a comfortable, comfortable gap ahead of City. Um, but like I said, we've got several tough games coming up and we want to keep that cushion for as long as possible. Um, so yeah, pretty happy right now for, as an Arsenal fan. Um, Saka's doing brilliantly, Martin Ellis doing brilliantly, all of our players basically are doing brilliantly. Tom Yesterday's is unfortunately out for the season, that was announced, I don't know, probably 24 hours ago-ish. Um, that's so gutting. Feel so sorry for the guy because obviously he's one of those guys that you know just loves playing for Arsenal and loves playing and 
um, never complains and plays when he can. Um, and we needed him because he was, you know, our rotating backup. Well, I wouldn't even say a backup. He was our rotating right back um, with Ben White. Um, and he is going to be a miss for sure. Uh, just as we're getting Jesus back as well. Uh, Jesus is back now, which is great. And I had some minutes in both the Fulham and the Palace game, which is good. Um, almost came close to scoring in the Palace game, actually. Um, so, you know, we get we get a player back and then we lose another player. So the whole myth, um, I think it was Eric Ten Hag, wasn't it? The genius over there at United that says that we have a lot of our main players game in, game out, or every game this season. I wish, bro. I wish, mate. Because uh, we've we've had injuries all season. Party's been out of loads. Um, Jesus, so just come back and since the World Cup. That's like four months ago now. Um, it's a, this is a ridiculous comment. I don't know why he said that. It's so dumb. Um, you know, but ever since he said that, we've had a player go out. Eddie and Katia's out for a while. Um, can't even think who else is out. Somebody else is out. I can't remember, but. It is what it is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop now because I don't want to ramble too much, but I'm really in a good place right now with Arsenal. And, you know, it's just game by game now. Just focus on the next game. Don't focus too much on the games we've got coming up. For me, it's all about Leeds. Just get the game, get the win against Leeds. And, you know, then, then we'll worry about the next thing. But um, even looking at the fixtures, you know, I don't have to scroll down anymore. Like, we're... We're in the bottom page now of the fixtures. That's how close we are to the end of the league, end of the season. So, um, also found out that um, on the last note that obviously Arsenal are going to be going to the US. Um, as as of right now, I think they've only got the one game. Uh, I think it's July nineteenth in Washington for the MLS, um, MLS All Stars or whatever. Um, it would be kind of cool because obviously Vela will be playing that game. Hopefully, so that'd be kind of cool. But um. I really hope they play. I was hoping they're playing LA again because I, I might make a little trip to LA again, but I don't think that's happening. But we'll have to wait and see. I, I would be very surprised if they go all the way to the US and only just play the one game. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, um, that's it, guys. Like we'll call up now. So Lee's next. Uh, I've got that weekend off, so I should. Um, be able to get another video out that weekend so yeah we'll talk about leads next time i see you so take these guys enjoy the moment enjoy it as it happens you know just take one game at a time and um see what happens um but yeah anyway take these guys and i'll see you guys next week adios